Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of the 360 Daily Show. Idris Elba takes on a conquer in Things Fall Apart adaptation. Arya star spotted a Spanish singer Rosalia's birthday bash in Paris. Why Sean Diddy Combs testifying in sex trafficking case would do more harm than good, attorney says. Reformation and Hooker teamed up on a sneaky line. And Camila Cabello covers her face in ski mask for Paris Fashion Week show. And on our trending segment, British actor Idris Elba is set to lead the upcoming television adaptation of Chinua Achebe's classic novel, Things Fall Apart, with production under the A24 studio. Idris will not only star as Okonkwo, the novel's iconic protagonist, but also serve as an executive producer. While the writing team is yet to be confirmed, the adaptation brings together a powerhouse team with David Oyelowo and Amanda Nduka joining Idris Elba as executive producers under their Yoruba Saxon banner, alongside Gina Carter from the newly launched 22 Summers production company with Idris Elba. The story has previously been adapted for both film and television, with Peter Dochie portrayed Okonkwo in a mini series. Now, this is so interesting having Idris Elba join on this, you know, huge movie that people have always been talking about. This movie and this series is something that has been there, you know, with time. And it's interesting to see someone as Idris Elba take upon this role. But I'm wondering, how is Idris Elba going to speak Igbo? Or won't they speak Igbo in this movie? Because I'm really wondering how Idris is going to do it, you know, speaking Igbo and, you know, acting like Okonkwo in this series. Peter Doce, when he did it, he was doing it and he did it so well. And that is one of the movies that brought Peter Doce to light and made him a legend that he is today. So I really want to see how Idris is going to play his role in this movie and also speak Igbo because he has to speak Igbo. I mean, the movie was done in Igbo back in the day. So I'm really, really looking forward to Idris acting in this movie. I feel like it's going to be an interesting one. And also having, you know, these other co-stars and other executive producers on it. I'm really looking forward to it. And on our editorial segment, Sean Diddy Combs is expected to testify in a sex trafficking and racketeering case. But Misha Moulton of Misha Moulton Law tells news outlets the bold move is not in his best interest. There's a reason that attorneys typically advise their clients not to take the stand in their own trial. Testifying in one's own trial opens up the defender to cross-examination from the prosecution. The award-winning Las Vegas-based attorney exclusively tells us. Moulton says, The mentally grueling cross-examination process will be relentless in trying to find inconsistencies in his statements and getting him to admit to things that could be damaging. If Didi becomes flustered or frustrated, taking the stand will do more harm for him than good, she adds. She says, to have the best chance at proving he's innocent, Combs needs to prioritize a strategic defense over his desire for personal expression. I don't know. I really feel for Didi at this point, even though I know that there are so many evidences against him. I really feel for him this time. I don't know why his attorney is advising him to take the stand and speak for himself. I mean, just like Misha said, I think it will be more incriminating because he might say things that, you know, are not even necessary. And, you know, attorneys have their way of bringing out words from your mouth. So those things that you might even be hiding and thinking, oh, OK, I'll never say that when I'm on the stand. An attorney or a lawyer, a very good one at that, will make you say things that will implicate you the more. And this case with Didi is really, really delicate. So I feel like, you know, he should thread with caution and his attorney should advise him better because any little thing that comes out will incriminate him the more and, you know, get him into more trouble. And if possible, send him to jail for a longer term. So I think he should actually, you know, pull back a little bit and have like further discussions with his lawyer to know if he wants to really take that stand or not. But for me, I feel like his lawyer should really like defend him because <laughs> Didi, you're on everybody's watch list right now, so be careful. And on our new collection, Reformation teamed up with Hoka on a limited edition collection of three sporty chic shoes, which hit the site on Thursday. The designs marry Hoka's signature platform silhouette with Reformation's locks, laid-back style sensibilities. Like the wear with anything, Hoka and Reformation mash 6LS crochet sold in both grey and off-white. For a pop of color, there's also the suede scented Mash 6 LS Monogram, a crimson cake covered in Reformation's interlocking logos. 
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed watching. And on Spicy or Not, Camila Cabello went incognito for Paris Fashion Week this year. The I Love It singer was seen arriving at Vetements runway show on Friday wearing a balaclava ski mask over her face. The covering only showed her eyes and lips. She also sported a pair of diamond drop earrings as she let her black hair flow underneath the mask. Cabello completed the look with a black mini skirt over a lacy black bodysuit. She also added a pair of strappy heels, a floor length coat, and a black lace gloves. I feel like Camila is so gorgeous that even if she covers her whole face and her whole body, you still know that it is Camila Cabello. But I, I really don't know why she went for that look, that, you know, covering her face and doing all of that. I don't know why she did that. But I mean, everything in fashion is a statement if you rock it properly. And I feel like she actually did this one justice. I mean... Yeah, even though her face is not showing, but I mean, the whole look together, mm, not bad, not bad at all. You can still tell it's Camilla, but I love the way she just put the whole look together. She looks beautiful regardless. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye.